the box. Uh, the open mic sheet is going around. I hope you'll sign up. Uh, great. Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, I'm speaking, so be quiet. <laughs> Anyway, I want to tell you, whoever comes up here, don't fool with the mic because this is very, uh, you can move the stick here, but if you fool with this thing, it, it will explode and fall apart. We have to get a new one, so just, uh, if you want to move it up or down, you just take this and go. It's very simple when you know how that's my lesson in mechanics today. I gotta really think, oh. <laughs> We have a very special guest with us here today, Mr. S.R. Duncan. Yeah. We are privileged, we are in the presence of greatness, and we all know it. Anyway, uh, I always start with a poem, and usually I start with a nice one, but today I thought... To help it be nice. Exactly. No, I thought I'll start with one that I wrote once, you know. You know, sometimes you just listen to... But this is going to bother some people, but others it won't. So anyway, after that. It's called A Sense of Sense. A Sense of Sense. Mere ramblings have always annoyed me, scraped at my spirit. I want to get it. Find some satisfaction after intercourse with words. Language is my lover, and when it turns inane and insane, I want to drain the living ink from every vein in its body. When people are nonsensical and incohesive, we avoid them. When written words are mere ramblings and say nothing, the writing should be expunged from reality into a void of sightless silence. The world is rife with scattered ramblers spewing the thorns into my atmosphere. Bramble bushes I fight my way through. Scratched and scarred and world weary, I long for a sense of sense. And I do it most times. 